Hello guys, in this video we will see how to migrate PostgreSQL database which is hosted on on-premise to AWS RDS PostgreSQL by using PG Admin or PSQL tool. So this is completely offline migration. Online migration means it is like by using DMS. But here we are using PG Dump and PG Restore or PSQL. The steps involved in, in this migration are first we will create the AWS RDS instance then we will take the backup of the database from on-premises then we will restore the database to AWS RDS PostgreSQL instance. First I will show you the databases on my on-prem. See this is my on-prem the version is 16. See I have the sales database. So I am going to migrate this sales database to AWS RDS instance. Okay let me create the AWS RDS instance. See I have connected to AWS console. Here these are the recently visited services by me. But if you are unable to find RDS here, then click on services, then search for RDS. Click on RDS, see that is managed relational database service. Click on it, click on create database or click on database DB instances, then click on create database. See here we have two methods, standard create and easy create. So I am going with standard create and engine types. The process is same for all Aurora post SQL also. Okay? So PostgreSQL, then select the version, wait it is, low. yeah, see, I am going to migrate to 16 only because that is the latest one. Select the templates, production, development or pre-type based on your requirement or the environment you have to select. For this demo purpose, I am going with the pre-type, but the process is same for production or dev, okay. Then provide the name for this AWS RDS instance. I am giving AWS RDS 16. Then this is the master username that is the Postgres. Then provide the password for this master user. Okay. See the password must satisfy this constraint. Okay. Then for pre tier we have only DB, T3 micro and T4 micro. Okay. Based on requirement you select it. I am going with T3 micro but if you select dev or production you will get all these enabled. So you can you can select any one of them based on from this list. Storage type I am going with general purpose only. Allocated storage I am giving 30 gigabytes. Then create new VPC. See I don't have any VPC so create new VPC. Subnet also public access you have to select yes otherwise you will be not able to connect to the this AWS RDS otherwise you will be having the problems also see here if you no know means only Amazon EC2 instance and other resource inside VPC can only connect to your database so we cannot connect through pub internet so we have to select if you want to connect from the internet this public access to S yes. availability zone see we have only these these zones see the zones are based on your current region next Authentication, we have three types, I am going with only password authentication. Uh, remaining I am not going to change. Initial database, if you want to create database, give the DB name. Later also we can give, but it is not mandatory. So back, these are the backup information like retention period and all. I am not going to change anything, just I want to show you the process. See this is the estimated cost per month. If you ok with all these settings, then click on create database. This may take up to 5 or 10 minutes. If you want to see, if you want to see your credentials, you have to click on view credentials. I know mine, so close this one. Wait until this to be, this status to be running or available. Refresh here. See, still it is running. See here, engine type is post SQL. This is the region, this is the size. Okay, here, this is the VPC information. Wait until this status to be changed. Okay. See the message here, successfully created database and this is the DB identifier. Click on it, but see still status is configuring enhanced monitoring. But we can connect, endpoint is created, so we can connect to this AWS RDS, copy it, go to PG admin. If you haven't installed PG admin, then go to the link provided in the video description and install it. Okay. 
right click on servers server name provide the name aws rds 16 provide this host in the host name we have to give this endpoint so port is 5432 database also same same username also postgres provide the password of this master user click on save this will throw error i will show you the error and solution click on save we have received as error as expected why because to resolve that issue click on see first step is we have to check whether public accessible is s or not see it is s okay one is clear so then go to this vpc security groups that is security group right click and open in new tab go to the click on the security group id then click on in edit inbound rules then click on add rule click on postgres sql then my ip then click on save role this success go back to pg admin click on save see we have successfully connected to aws rds see the database which we created at the time is this so we have created it so click on sales expand it schemas see we don't have any tables okay so we are going to migrate this sales database objects to this rds the first step is we have to take backup of this sales database one is by using this psql client another one is by using pg admin i'm going to show you by using pj open terminal or command prompt ever machine see no need to worry like same command works on your linux machine or windows machine psql hyphen h means h means host name see this local host this is the on prem address or ip okay hyphen u postgres hyphen d sales hit enter provide the password of this postgres user see i have connected even if you want to switch to after school slash l see on on prem we have dvd rental sales and after schools but in rds we don't have that many data so quit cls to clear screen so i am going to take backup of this machine this database so command is pg dump first create a path in c drive backups see i have one backup directory so in this directory i am going to take the backup so cd pg underscore dump in linux you will give cd and that particular path the commands are same for whether it is linux or windows or mac okay hyphen h localhost hyphen go hyphen d here database name is sales hyphen u user is postgres greater than then give the backup file name and give sales to sql see this is the command but we can also do this the same going to right click on sales backup then here first we have to select the format so select the plane then give the file name so i want to store this in c drive backups then provide the file name here file name that we are giving sales to sales to dot sql okay sales to then click on save that's all here we have the different options like table if you want to select the particular objects you can select if you don't select any one of them it will select the all okay so click on backup see view the process see backup is finished you go there you will find the backup file see here we have the backup file see it contains all the create insert and other options backup is completed now to restore it again go here just remove this command sql hyphen h then give the host name host name is copy copy this endpoint that 
paste it hyphen d d means database name database name is sales form hyphen u username is postgres less than give the file name file name is see this is the file name so copy it copy this entire file name see less than must be given otherwise it will go over right okay before that before executing this command go to this here sales schemas tables right click refresh see we don't have any tables okay close this one this is one way other way is right click on database right click on database then select restore in the drop down customer tar then select the file name then select sales and click on open then you have to click on this restore both are same but for this purpose i'm going with this command and hit enter provide the password of the target one that is aws rds password see back restore has been started see it is creating table altering table okay we don't have any permission permissions even if you have those will be copied to the target see the, the see the number of rows copied okay so go back to rds expand sales see now we have the that the same six tables which are there in this on prem expand this one see we have same six tables see the same tables are there let me verify the count also right click on this one this is on prem query tool select count star give this address one select it run. we forgot to give from from keyword now run it see 668883 okay we can query the on prem also right click on database select query tool copy the same command paste it select it see we got the same output see we have successfully migrated data from on prem to aws rds postgres sql so it is nothing but from on premise to cloud but as i told you at the starting of this video it is offline migration you want to go with online migration you have to use dms that is database migration service which is there in aws okay i will i'm going to make that video also soon for more postgres sql server videos please subscribe my channel thank you